Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about bell peppers and how to select and store your peppers when you get them home. Now, when you're shopping for bell peppers, you want to find ones with smooth skin. Avoid ones that look sort of wrinkly. They will be old. You obviously want to find ones that don't have a lot of blemishes on them. And if it has some of the stem and leaves on there, you want them to be brightly colored and not looking all wilted and dried out. And you want one that feels sort of heavy for its size. This one certainly does. A little heavy for its size. If it's lightweight or if it's wrinkly, uh, looks a little bit dried out, it probably is dried out and is probably on the older side and you can surely, hopefully, find a better option out there. Now when you get your bell peppers home, bear in mind they have a high water content to them and they can tend to dehydrate in the refrigerator which is a very dry environment. So the best place to keep them is in the crisper drawer in your refrigerator with the vent closed, okay? The air vent should be closed and that allows the humidity to build up somewhat in that drawer and it will help to keep them from drying out. But yet it won't be so much humidity that it's going to rain in there, okay? So that's a good way to keep your peppers. Once you have cut them, it's a good idea to put them in a container of their own and the best way that I found to store them with the longest life is to line that container, at least just on the bottom, with either a paper towel or a clean dry cloth and then put your cut pepper on top of that. I generally put it cut side up on top of that cloth or paper towel, but it, it probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference there. And put the lid on that and then of course store it in the refrigerator. I have found that my peppers will keep longer that way. When I put something in the container to help absorb the moisture as it oozes the moisture, and that will keep liquid droplets from forming on the side of the container which would help to invite mold. By absorbing that liquid, it helps to maintain a humid environment without a wet environment being in there. The wetness is what will cause mold, whereas the humidity in there will help to preserve the pepper that much longer. The standard rule of thumb is to use them within a few days, but I have found that keeping link like that will extend the life beyond that. I do hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.